just want a retirement fund and a 401k and insurance. Hey guys, today I want to talk about how cosplayers make money. There are many different kinds of cosplayers. You've got like the people who make the props and sell props. You've got people who make costumes and sell the costumes. And the kind of cosplayers that I want to talk about are the ones who are internet personalities, who uh, don't make work for other people, they just make them for themselves. So professional cosplayers who have an internet presence. And that's the category that I fit into. So a little bit about myself. My name is Stella Chu and I've been cosplaying for about five years now. I make the majority of my costumes. I do collaborate with a lot of different seamstress artists, prop makers, but the majority of what I do is I make my costumes. I live in New York City in a 500 square foot apartment. It is the most expensive city to live in in the world. I supplement my cosplay with an actual job and so does my husband, so like, you know, we're gonna there. Like, so a professional cosplayer is when you have a decent internet following and also where you get like invited to conventions and you cosplay more than just once a year. You're actually cosplaying about <laughs> like twice a month. So that's what I call a professional cosplayer. That's what a lot of the internet calls a professional cosplayer. I wanted to make this to talk about how cosplayers get paid because a lot of people think that cosplayers, uh, just because they're famous, they'll get money for it. Being internet famous actually doesn't translate to income, doesn't translate to revenue. It just means that there's a lot of people who know who you are. So how does a professional cosplayer make money? There's three different ways. So one, a convention will invite you. Um, so they'll pay you an appearance fee, you'll come to their convention, they'll pay your way out with like a flight, a hotel, and some conventions won't pay because they're smaller, but some conventions will pay because they have the money to do so. And there's a lot of different conventions out there from like anime, gaming, sci-fi, comics, and so the range is completely different from like three digits to four digits. And not all conventions pay and not all conventions pay a lot. There's no bar uh, for cosplayers to make money from conventions. The other way for cosplayers to make money is if a company who's going to be at a convention will hire the cosplayer as, uh, as like a cosplayer at their booth. So you guys know that as booth babes. So what Booth Babes do is that we will dress up in a costume and as cosplayers we actually make the costumes ourselves. The company does not provide the costume. And then we'll bring it to the con and then we will work the booth and engage with the fans however that the company needs us to do and then the company will pay us for it. And that also ranges. It could be from a small company that you're really, really passionate about because they have a great product or uh, it could be a baller ass company that has lots of money and can pay you enough to cover like three months of rent. So that is also a huge sliding scale, like don't know how much you're going to make on that. And then the third most common way that cosplayers make money is through print sales. And this is a relatively new way that cosplayers have been making money. Um, five years ago there was a huge stigma against it. A lot of people were split um, in the community about selling prints because they thought that prints were this like, you're selling out, you're, you're selling sexy photos or something like that. But over time, especially in the last like two years or so, more and more cosplayers have been getting into print selling because the quality of photography has gone up and the quality of costumes have gone up. And so with both of those, it creates beautiful works of art that previously were, you know, cosplay photos used to be really, really awful. I'm just so glad that like cosplayers have gotten really good at their craft and photographers have just, oh my God, like I've seen some really, really great stuff and I can't believe these guys aren't like full-time photographers. And so with those together um, creates prints that fans will want to have on their walls. Uh, cosplayers buy prints from each other all the time. It's like this great uh, economy happening with print sales. But the problem with print sales is that it's an uphill battle where you have a photo of a cosplay and you sell it to one person, but they're not going to buy that photo more than once, they're just going to buy it once. And so you have to produce another photo, another costume, and then keep doing that. And so you're constantly have all this output, but not necessarily have the people to buy it. So I feel like the ratio between how much you spend on a costume to how much you make in prints is actually like completely imbalanced. And it's really hard to supplement your costumes by by depending on print sales because say that costume is not very popular, say the photos didn't turn out very well, say fans just aren't into that photo because it's too artsy. There's so many things that come into a factor of like your prints. Some months I will do really really good on print sales because it's Christmas or it's my birthday, but some months I'm 
dry. There's just no one's buying prints. And I know that is something that happens across the board. Cosplayers, it's just up and down. You know, we can sell these prints at cons too, but sometimes there's no one buying at the cons. It, and it completely varies between different states, coasts, countries. You can never really predict exactly who wants prints, how many, like, what if you sell out and you want it on the first day, but then you don't have any product for like the Saturday and Sunday at a con? Or what if you go home with like a hundred pounds worth of prints? Uh, print sales, yes, is the most common way for cosplayers to make money, but it is one of the most difficult ways to make money. So how else do cosplayers make money? Uh, having an internet following allows us to pitch ourselves to companies um, that want to promote via us to the internet. So say a company wants us to uh, promote their t-shirt um, by taking a selfie and then posting it online and then posting a link to the website or um, they want us to do an unboxing or um, we're doing like a partnership deal where it's share sale, They every time somebody use our coupon code, things like that. So those are, those are ways we can make money through uh, working with companies. But one of the biggest problems with that is, is that a lot of companies that work with cosplayers don't have budget for social media advertising. And so what that means is that they ship us like a t-shirt for, and expect us to post it for free. So I, I can't eat a t-shirt, and not that I'm asking that I need a t-shirt to pay my rent or something, but it's like, hey guys, like I know what I'm worth because I have this social media following and other people in other realms of the internet are making money from sharing posts. It's like, why, why am I any different? If you're watching and you're, you have a company, please start paying for social media posts because we're giving you guys amazing advertising. We have a direct line to the fans. You know, you can't just expect us to give you free advertising. I know that that's really controversial, but I feel like it's, it's, it's time. It's really important that people stop doing things for free. So there's a new way that cosplayers are making money and a lot of other artists are making money on the internet and that's through Patreon. Patreon is a website where fans directly put money into whatever the artist is making. So um, a lot of musicians are doing it, some YouTubers are doing it, illustrators are doing it, and cosplayers are doing it. And so there's a lot of controversy with that because people don't believe that cosplayers should be, should be profiting directly from the fans. I understand, I totally understand why people think that. It's definitely a, a weird topic of, of like controversy. Um, I am trying it out and I'm seeing how it goes. Um, I definitely like that I'm putting out content specifically to my patrons that no one else can see. So this is like completely just like for them to like learn from my tutorials to, to, see, to see progress on costumes that um, no one else knows about. So far I really like it. I've only been doing it for a month. But one of the things about Patreon that I want everyone to understand is that Patreon is not meant to be this, hey, this is my income that's supporting me to live. What it actually is is that it's a way for artists to continue to do what they do so that they're not just throwing all their money into an empty hobby. It's so that all of the money that comes into it gets put back into. All of the money I'm getting from Patreon, I'm gonna put directly back into my cosplay. I'm not gonna use it to go buy myself a burrito or like pay my rent or anything like that. What I want it to do is so that it directly goes into my cosplay. And I think that's really great because for years, Cosplayers have been putting content out for free, teaching other people with tutorials, and it's great to have an open source kind of market and open source kind of mentality, but uh, it's about time that, you know, people who have the ability to make money through their talents get it. And what's great about Patreon is that people are making money from, for the right reasons. No one's being tricked into putting their money out there. They're putting money out for something that they believe that they they want. And if they don't want it, they can stop their subscription at any time and they can start, you know, complaining about it or something. They can actually, you know, people will be outed for not being a good, a good artist. People will be uh, exposed for being crappy artists. I think that this Patreon's a great way for fans to work directly with artists. And I mean, I know, I know a lot of people think differently, um, but only time will tell. I mean, people said the exact same thing about YouTubers and about print sales back in the day. In a few years, I'm sure it's going to completely change so I'm holding out for that. I'm, I'm hoping a lot of people will think about Patreon with an open mind. It's going to change the cosplay community and it's going to change a lot of people's lives.
So through me talking about all of this, there's only about a dozen people in America who make cosplay a full-time job where that's all of where all their income is coming from. Um, I am not one of them. I actually have a day job. I'm a designer by trade. I do, I make mobile apps and that's what I want to do for the rest of my life and that's what I want to use to be able to buy a house, to be able to uh, build my family and everything. Cosplay is just something I'm really passionate about, I'm really serious about, I love doing it, I'm not going to stop doing it, um, I'm probably going to make my kids cosplay. Uh, I'm just fortunate enough to have a fan base who is very passionate and want to follow what I do. And I see that with all of my friends who are also avid cosplayers who have great fans and they work really, really hard. Becoming a professional cosplayer is not easy. I don't think I will ever be able to achieve that. I think that maybe I'll be able to make money from doing other internet things, but in general, as a cosplayer, I don't think I'll be able to achieve that because it, it is... It is a special kind of skill, it is a special kind of personality that allows for um, that to become something real. And I really want that to be transparent to you guys so that you can understand that yes, cosplay can be a profession, but it doesn't mean that you're making enough to live off of. And I'm only hoping that in the future, fans, companies, other cosplayers will um, be able to support each other and create this like economy cycle where money goes in and goes all the way around because that's the best way for this community to continue to grow and continue to be as supportive as it's been. It's the only reason that any of us are here is because of great fans of great other cosplayers who are really supportive and yeah it's like that's what this hobby is about. It's about sharing what you love and consuming things that other people are making and seeing what, what they can do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thanks to you for listening to my big, huge rant about all of this, and I hope it was a little bit educational. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Let me know of any other concerns that you that I think that I didn't touch on, um, anything else that you feel is really important about what I said, um, because I'm just one person and I'm only speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for other people, because I know that a lot of there's a lot of different opinions out there. There's a lot of different lifestyles out there. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.